Okay, so we're going to learn how to create an image in GIMP in a black-white image and then convert it to SVG and then import it to Blender and create a 3D model. So we start with the image here. We're going to start uh, with some basic text. Things simple here. Okay, once you get your, your text down, uh, we are going to merge visible. So just everything uh, down into one image. So come over here and we flatten image. So now everything is flattened and then we will have a black and white image. And then we're gonna do select by color. And in this case, we're gonna select all black. There we go. It's all highlighted. While it's highlighted, you come back up to select and then to path. And then come over to your paths tab and you'll find it here. And then you wanna export this. So we right click on that, do export path and uh, name it what you wanna name. It's gotta have the extension SVG. That way it would know it'd be this scalable vector graphic. You save it. You verify where it's at. See if it's there. Looks like it's there. And then we'll go to Blender. And you create a new a new file in here. You'll have you know your basic cube and your camera and light in there. Uh, but we're just going to get rid of that cube. So you can just highlight cube here and hit X and it'll kill it. And then we want to look at the flat plane under Z. So click on that and it homes it to zero. Then we're going to import the SVG file. Go under File, Import. Look for Scalable Vector Graphics. And then you look for your image. And then you import the SVG. And you'll find it right here. And let's put this in the center so we can look at it. So look, grab your, your hand, hold down on it, and then center it. And we're going to make it a little bit bigger. So you can click in there and it's selected. So let's scale it. Select scale and we grab the little white box to have even scaling. Make it big. Uh, mouse scroll to center. Let's just get it centered. Okay, here we are. Got the image. Looks like one continuous line. You want to highlight it. And then you come over here to this icon here. This will be your curves icon. You just click on this. It takes you to this new menu here. And you, you select 2D. And then for fill mode, you want to select both. And you get to this point. Let's just take your, your mouse and hold down the uh, scroll and just kind of move it in a, a little bit. Scroll in so you can see it. And then you go under geometry over here and extrude we're going to add some depth to this so you just watch it as it grows and get it to the thickness that you want this looks good you want to round the corners you come down to bevel and then round and you can select the depth you can see that Get it to where you want it. It looks good. Now we're ready to create a object, a 3D model. So you, it looks good in here in this view. Come over back over to file, to export, select wavefront object, find uh, where you want to put it. And what you want to name it. And then verify that you have it. And it does look like I've got an object right here. So let's just click on this and view it in the Windows 3D viewer. So 
So it does, it looks pretty good. If you like that, then you're good to go and you've got your 3D model.